going to weigh myself. It is week 12. Yes, I think it's week 12. Um, I'm going to weigh myself uh, and see what happens. So today I am on my menstrual cycle. <laughs> I couldn't say that seriously. I tried. Um, so we are going to weigh and see what the progress has been this week. It's been a little rough. Um, because I've skipped many, many breakfasts, and, um, you know, a few times you guys had us, or I was like, oh, I'm feeling kind of nauseous. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to step on my scale. Oh, so this camera's a little different. 332.8. So I didn't go down much. Let me zoom back out. Okay, so I think the last one was 333, so I'm like slowly going down again. Um, I think I need to get better at having breakfast. I have skipped many breakfasts and I'm not doing that well with um, snacks. And I've noticed that when I started including like eating every two hours, that's kind of when I was like more consistent where I would drop at least two pounds a week. And that's kind of, that's my goal right now is to get to, to get back to that. <sighs> I don't know what to think. Like I'm not disappointed because it's still less, but I feel like I barely have any calories during the day, if that makes any sense. But um, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, just gonna keep pushing. Just gonna keep pushing. I know that, that some weeks are not gonna be easy compared to others. I know that I'm gonna take a seat because then my arms start hurting. Well, in an effort to change that, I'm gonna have some cereal. I was gonna cook some, I don't know, maybe I, I will scramble some eggs. Um, but I bought a new pumpkin flaxseed cereal, so. I'm gonna attempt to do baby snacks in between, even if I feel full. I need to kind of jump, get over that hurdle of feeling scared that I was talking about not too long ago, because I feel like that's it's it's starting to hurt me a little because my metabolism is like slow because I don't eat. I mean, I've skipped breakfast for the past three days. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't really talk about having breakfast because. I've been skipping it just because I wake up so full and just so like I want to throw up and you know it's just not good but I'm gonna try not to do that anymore I'm gonna even if it's you know even if it takes me an hour to eat it I'm gonna attempt to do it and I'm gonna start including um, more snacks because I feel like that's when I was making the best progress and I just want to get back to what I was doing that's really all I want to do and you know, and still stick to what the doctor has told me. Get back to what I was doing, and you know, no dairy, no red meat, no greasy foods, and all that. Like I want to get back to that. That's what I want to get back to. I mean, unfortunately, yes, I didn't want to give up dairy, but if that's what I have to do for now, then that's what I have to do. But I want to be able to get back to losing at least you know two pounds. I mean, I know I lost one pound this week, which is awesome. But I thought, honestly, I thought I was gonna do less because I've kind of been bloated. Um, but I am technically on my period today, so maybe I'm still retaining a little bit of water. I don't know. We'll see. But that's my way in results for week 12, and um, I'm still happy that at least it's going down, so let's turn this into a positive. It is still going down, and I, uh, you know, I can't wait to get out of the 3.30s. Like, I need to push. I need to push. I need to really focus this coming week. I'm going to go back to school. So I'm gonna have a little bit more of a routine and maybe that will help me. Hey y'all, it's been a minute. I took the longest nap of my life. My life, for real. Like I haven't napped in midday in so long, let alone napped for that long. Like, it's insane to me. I think Mr. CJ got a little scared. Like, is my mom alive? Cyrus! How many times did you check on me when I was sleeping? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't even know. I kind of heard you come into my room. Yeah. Yeah? No, I didn't. Yeah, when I was sleeping. 
Oh, is that what you asked me? See, like that's how done I was. He made himself a sandwich. Well, I'm glad you did, because I'm going to make dinner when we come back. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, I'm gonna, I am gonna. haven't taken anything out, so I might just stop by the store. It has been pouring rain, guys. I think that's why I took a nap, because I just didn't find the need to uh, do anything. I was working on my laptop for a bit, and... Um, did a little bit of homework, not really, because then I fell asleep. But it kind of, actually the rain stopped. I don't know if it's going to pick up again. But I need to take advantage because I need to take Mr. CJ to the library to get some books so he can start a science fair project. It's not due until May, but it's like five weeks. And once I go back to school, it gets really hectic. So I'm trying to get a head start so that he has his supplies so he can work on it little by little every day. So that's the plan. Hopefully I can beat the next round of thunderstorm. Um, I slept through the whole rain, but you know what? I heard it. I heard it because my window was cracked open. And I think at one point, did I ask you to close my window? Yeah. And the, when I was sleeping, see, I remember some stuff. <laughs> I think when he came in, I just said, hey, can you close my window? It was hilarious, but th that's the pun. So we are going to go to the library. What movie are you going to go with? Wolverine. When he goes to, oh, he goes to Japan. So we're, oh, we were only able to find one book that he needed. They're going to order more. So we just decided to stop by and rent a movies. You know, I forget that the library has good options for movies. And it's free, pretty much. I should come here more often. I think the reason I don't is because I use my school library a this, lot more. This, I watched this movie. This is the time when Hulk um, battled Abomination. Is that another Hulk movie? Oh, that's the one that you were grabbing. I don't know if there's a limit on um, I get, I on how many you can get. Well, no, because I'm going to get one and you can get one. And then we can come back. Okay. So I'm going to keep looking and see what I grab. <laughs> we came to a Dollar King store. Huh? Is there we came? What are you getting? You're getting some supplies for your science fair project? I don't think that that um, yeah, it is. is part of your, it's a gun, guys. It's not part, put it away. You know I don't like you playing with guns. When you're old enough to go to a range and learn how to use one, then you can use I one. I do know how to use one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Tell the cat. Oh, really? What happened? This is what Mr. CJ just did, guys. Yeah, but you don't touch anything that doesn't belong to you. Looking at it is completely different. Now we have to fix this. You're not leaving it on the floor. Okay, you should take everything down first and then go back in and fix it and you should start with one side first because or else it's just gonna keep falling and then you're gonna keep dropping more and more things lesson learned don't touch it again okay now i know he's not happy about it but you know what i've told him time and time again you know you know what i mean with kids go like this they just go like this and touch everything don't do it Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo and don't forget to subscribe.